Okay, good morning. So um, today's class is gonna be a bit of balance, but we're gonna be really working on our hip strength and our ankle strength today, um, which is really important for balance, of course. So we'll begin with a little bit of movement because it's in the morning. So <clears throat> just do whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna swing my arms like I usually do. <sighs> Hope everybody's doing well. So just swinging the arms, take big breaths in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Let me do a little shake, big breath in. I'm gonna let my arms just swing up and down, take a big breath in, shake, exhale. Shake again, uh, bringing more of the body into it. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle them back and forth. Little bounce. And now come to your standing, let your shoulders, arms relax by your sides. Chin tucked a little bit, make sure the weight of your body is a little bit back into the heels. Spread the toes nice and wide, ground down through the feet. And then come to this place of ease or find a place of ease for you. So relax the belly, the jaw. And then just come back to your breath. I'll just start with the neck like we usually do. So we're just gonna do some um, neck rolls. So drop your chin to your chest and just give it a sec. So just hang here, take a breath. Let everything relax, your traps here, all the muscles down, down your back, going into your shoulders. Let all those areas relax. Relax your jaw and your eyes. I'm really... Coming to this place of ease, like I always say, no clenching anywhere. And now we'll just do some circles. So coming up, like I always say, like your nose is going around the numbers of a clock. So you're, you're not compressing your neck way back. So a couple times one way, and a couple times the other way. Hmm. Come to neutral, left ear to left shoulder, extend the right arm. Breath, check back in. Are you clenching anywhere? Is your weight hanging over your toes? Bring it back. And then move to the other side. I just have somebody else coming in here. Oh, where did they go? she is so yeah ear down to the other arm extend the right or the left arm sorry and come up we're just going to spread our arms nice and wide cross them over cross bend at the elbows bring the arms close together shoulder blades are flat across the back bring the arms up towards the ceiling Take a breath in oh, and exhale. Just let them swing and relax down by your sides. Another big arm, maybe your arms are a little bit lower this time. You're gonna reach them back, bring the shoulder blades together. Big inhale, oh, exhale. The other arm on the top this time, bend at the elbows and bring the arms together or towards one another. Take a breath. Relax in all those places, the belly and in the uh, forehead and reach the fingers up towards the sky. Take an inhale. And exhale, just let them drop and swing by your sides. Um, okay, so we are, like I said, we're doing um, balance and stability, mobility around the hips and the ankles today. So we're just going to begin by coming into our standing. We're going to take the weight back into our heels. 
We're just going to look down at our toes and, you know, legs are hip width distance apart. And we're just going to begin by lifting the toes and placing them back down and lifting the toes and placing them back down. And now leave all the toes except the big toes and try to bring the big toes up toward, yeah, leaving the other toes down on the floor. And then down and do that a couple times. So you're just bringing the big toes up and trying to keep the other toes down on the ground. And just do that a few times. And you notice that I'm kind of like pointing my fingers <laughs> to help me. I'm going to do it one more time. It gets easier after you do it a few times. So please try to do it a few times. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe for me now, it seems like it's getting harder for me to do it. Oh, there we go. And I'm having more success on the left than I am the right. And so now the other way around. Keep your big toe down and then um, lift the other toes. And do that a few times. Relax your face. And now spreading the toes nice and wide. And I want you to just get a feeling that you're balancing in all those three corners of the feet. So under the big toe, under the little toe, and then the heel. So distribute your weight along those areas. So I like to just kind of, you know, move my weight around and then bring that weight a little bit more back into the heels. Relax your toes now. And we're just gonna come onto some, uh, onto our tippy toes, okay? So we're just gonna raise up onto our tippy toes, trying to keep our body vertical. And when you come up onto your tippy toes, a lot of us are going to kind of roll out to the sides. Okay. So I want you to just really the metatarsals or those paddings underneath your big toes, really focus pressing down through there. Okay. So we're just on our tippy toes and we're going to come down and we're going to keep doing that a few times. Okay. So raise, so really practicing balance here, but getting good strength around the ankles you keep doing that up and down and now maybe even hold when you get to the top it's really funny because i feel like i'm already a bit warm <laughs> and then come down and now we're just going to do the top of the foot stretch so reach one foot back and with your toes so you're just really um, on the top of your toes you're just pressing down and again make sure that your foot is not rolling out to the side okay so make sure your foot's not coming out like this you're really on the top of the toe here and again you don't want your weight coming over over your toe okay so still keep your weight back over the heels and you'll notice a little bit more of a stretch. Breaths in. Relax that. Now shake that toe out. Some ankle rolls here. So go in one way. And the other. And as we're standing here on this one leg, your hip may have a tendency to poke it. So bring that hip in. And if you need something there, even though we're practicing a bit of balance here, you can still have something there um, for support if you begin to fall or anything. And down, give it a little shake, and then do that on the other side. Take some breaths, relax the face. Relax that, lift the leg up, straighten out the knee if you can. And again, don't let the hip come out, press the hip in and just do some ankle rolls here. So when you're doing your ankle rolls, really try to move, initiate the movement from the ankle because a lot of us will move kind of through the toes and it makes it seem a lot easier, okay? But move with the ankle or through the ankle. Initiate the movement, right? The ankle go around in the other side. Okay, give it a little shake. 
Bring the weight now into the left leg. Bring the right leg up, and we're just going to do some hip um, mobility here. So leg up, open the leg out to the side, and now bring the knee down towards the floor, around. Relaxed face, easy breath. We'll do that one more time on this side. Now bring the leg up, keeping that hip in. And we're just balancing here. You can bring the leg out. So straightening the leg and bending in the knee again. Straightening out the leg and bend in the knee. You can try to bring the knee a little closer to the chest if you want, even using your hand as a little guide and come down. Shake that out. So move into the other side. Weight into the right, bring that hip in, raise that knee. Stay here for a sec. Open the leg, knee down towards the floor and in. Up, open, knee towards the floor, whoo, and in. Another time, lift, open, floor, up, and in, and then extend. Straightening out the knee if you can. And then bend the leg in towards your chest and then flex it out again. <laughs> in and out. And in and you can pull. And you're getting a lot of stuff happening on the standing leg, right? And exhale, release and shake that out again. Come to your feet, come to your breath. Relax everything. Let the belly release, noticing your heart probably beating a little quicker, noticing if perhaps you were holding your breath a little bit to do that. Mm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our weight into the left again. We're going to bring up that foot and by all means use um, a wall here if you need to. Okay, this is, this is, uh, yeah, there's a bit of balance, but really this is um, not so much about balance because it may be a little bit difficult. So I'm bringing the knee up like I did before and I'm externally rotating the leg. So here I'm internally, externally rotating, right? So I'm externally rotating and I'm bringing, I'm in a figure four now standing up. So you can have a chair in front of you or hang onto the wall or whatever. So I'm in this figure four and your figure four may be down here. That's okay. And I'm gonna move my bum back. So I'm just coming, I'm hinging at the hips and moving my bum back, okay? I like to have my hands in prayer. You can have them out to the sides here or out front like this. Staying here as long as you can. Doing a bit of external rotation in my arms here. Just helps me release around the shoulders. Woo! And I'm just losing my balance, which is all great. And then whew, I'm gonna come back up. Shake that out. Put the weight into your right foot now. Lift the left knee and internal external rotation. So here is internal external internal external so it's nice to do that a couple times and then when you have external you're going to bring the ankle down wherever on the leg and make sure now i'm not coming out to the side pushing the hip in and now a little hinge so my bum through my weight my bum is going over my heel and you're only going to come to a place that's comfortable so you're getting a nice hamstring stretch as well And I'm just slowly moving down a little deeper if you can, or just find that spot, hold. And I'm very wobbly on that ankle, right? That's standing, but that's all great work for the muscles and of your ankles. Hmm. Nice, easy breath. And come up. Release and give that a little shake. 
come back to the breath. We're gonna to come to the top of the mat. Again, weight into the left, raise the right leg, step it back into this lunge. Bring the arms up in warrior one. We'll go right into a warrior two. I'm kind of back onto the camera, I know. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. We're gonna come over, so bringing the forearm down to the front leg, reaching the other arm, it can be behind your head. Arm reaching up towards the ceiling, does not matter. And then raise back up. Now these arms both out to the side, one drops down to the back leg and one hand comes up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, come down. And then pivot your feet together. Come to the top, take a breath. Mm. Weight into our right, raise our left, step it back into warrior one. Bring the arms up, ribs in. Remember, do not arch in the lower back. Nice vertical torso, arms reaching up about the ribs. Oh, inhale, exhale, come right into that warrior two now. Our hands up towards the ceiling, take a breath. And now bending your right um, arm and then bringing the forearm down towards the top of that leg, push that knee out. If it's starting to come in, open it up, push it out. Bringing the other arm up towards the ceiling, behind your head, you can keep it behind your back. Lots of options, take a breath. And then exhale, you're bringing, going the other direction. So that our left arm comes down, right arm comes up towards the ceiling. Big breath, exhale, come down, pivot the feet. And give that a little shake. We're gonna do the top of the foot stretch one more time here. So take the weight into the left leg, raise your right leg. Bring it back, press the toes down onto the ground. And we're just stretching the top of the foot. So sometimes I do like to move the foot from side to side a little, but then really pressing down the top of the big toe. Taking some breaths. Giving it a shake, move to the right side. You can lift the leg first, bring it back. Nice relaxed face, nice relaxed belly. Top of the foot stretch. I'm kind of like dragging my foot like forward without dragging it forward, my back foot. And then let that release. And you can give it a little shake, wiggle the toes. And now we're going to get your pillow. So we are going to put your pillow down and stand on your pillow. And we're just going to do our calf raises again. So spread the toes nice and wide. And now this time we have a little bit more, um, so we're gonna be really um, using our, our uh, balance here. <laughs> so we're gonna come up onto our toes again. So onto the tippy toes, remember onto the metatarsals of the big toes. Really pushing down through there. We don't want the legs to come out to the side, okay? Or the ankles to roll to the side. So we're, woo! So it makes it a little bit more challenging being on this uneven surface. So we're just doing that, coming up and down. And you can hold and breathe. Relax the face, relax the belly. And we're really trying to come up vertical. So we're not kind of hinging more. If you have to hinge a little bit, no big deal, but you're really trying to focus on just moving vertically up towards the ceiling, okay? So you're just rising and falling. I'm just holding, come down, come up, and down. Keep doing that. We want to really feel, you know, you're going to start feeling um, your calves a little bit, and that's what we want. Come down and up 
because it's all connected, of course. And come down, come up. Whew. And come down. Oh, you may want to step off the pillow and give a little shake. Come back to your breath. We're going to come back on the pillow, but I'll give you the option first to try this without the pillow. So it's going to be up to you to do it on the pillow or not. So we're going to come back. And now we're doing this again, but this time we're going to try to raise on one foot. Okay. So we're up on our toes and you're going to try to raise or just bend the knee. So I'm going to, maybe I'll try it too, just to show you. So we're going to come up, but we're going to see if we can bend one knee and your balance. But really, if it's too much, <laughs> like for me right now, I'm going to just hold the wall for a sec. So I'm coming up on one toe and I'm going to try to bring this other knee in and I'm going to try to come down and up Woo. on one foot. Okay. So you still want to make sure that your toe is not rolling out. Your foot is not rolling out to the side. You want to come up so that the big metatarsals of your toe, so you're not rolling out Whew. and come down and go to the other foot. So shake it out. Always come back to their breath. Always <clears throat> bring your attention to the body and make sure or just notice and bring awareness to those places where you clench when things get hard, okay? Because we're doing that throughout our day as well. Even sometimes when we're thinking, we're clenching, okay? So it's nice to just be aware of your own body and where those places are for you. So now I'm going to go on the other foot where I'm not even bothering with the pillow right now. So I'm going to come up. Whew, I'm going to bend <laughs> my knee. So you notice like I'm bending my knee and kind of keeping it aligned, but if you need to bring it somewhere else, then that's probably going to whatever works for you. So I'm up and I'm going to come down and I'm using the wall behind me Whew, and coming up oh. and down and up. I think you definitely need to hold on to something here. I think doing these up whew, and down and give that a shake. Do you want to see if we can do it on the pillow? We can give it a try. Just come to your wall. I'm going to come onto my pillow now and start with the opposite leg again. So I'm going to come up onto the toe, lift this leg, and I'm going to come down and come up down and come up, come down, come up. And you can try letting go of the wall a little bit or using it a little bit less and come down, shake it out, come back to your breath, relax the body. Step on the pillow again, move to the other side. So I'm gonna come up into my toes, raise the other, leg and come down and up down and i'm just using the wall and i really get off balance but it's really nice to have something there down and up Whew. and down oh. give that a little shake give that oh, a little wiggle Okay, let's stretch the calves. So you can again use your pillow or use a blanket, whatever you have that's gonna work for you. And we're just going to bring the tops of our feet, keep the heels down into the floor. And we're just going to bring the toes up onto your blanket or pillow. Take your hands to the hips and we're just going to hinge forward, okay? So we're just hinging the weight still going back over your heels and we're just hinging here and to get this nice calf stretch. So I'm keeping the knees bent and you should be getting a really nice calf stretch here. We can come up again, take a breath, inhale, 
Exhale, hinge again, just hinging at the hips, bone going back and feeling a nice calf stretch here. Nice, easy breath. And come up. Okay, pushing the pillow aside, having feet about hip width distance apart or maybe a little bit wider because what we're gonna try next is we're gonna try to come up on our tippy toes and do a little squat. <laughs> so again, get the supports that you need, okay? So let's raise up on our toes, making sure not the ankles don't come out to the sides or trying your best so that doesn't happen. Oh, and see now if you can do a little squat. So I'm just hinging first and then like bending in the knees and you're just gonna come down as low as you can. So you can start like kind of not as low first, pushing yourself up and come down. So this, your squat can be whatever, okay? You don't have to come very far down. I'm just hinging and squatting, okay? So I'm coming down, I'm on my tippy toes. And woo, you can try to, <laughs> even once you get down onto your, into that squat position, so wherever you are, so if you're here, you can just kind of try to raise the toes even more. So come up on the toes even more. And you can try to come down lower. Ooh. And the legs are going to want to come out to the side. Ankles are going to want to roll. You're really bringing that in, okay? Pushing down through the big metatarsals of the toes. And come down. Take a break. Shake it out. And we're going to go into it again. So up on the toes. And then a little squat. So I'm hinging to like I'm sitting on a chair. I'm going to go back. My knees are starting to bend and I'm moving down. And I'm going to move down and my heels are going to lift. Oh, I'm going to see how far I can get down. And now see if I can push myself up. Oh. Oh. And come down. Give that a little shake. And let's do a top of the foot stretch again. So another one, reach the foot back. Come back to a nice, easy breath. Release the belly, the shoulders, the face behind the neck. Move to the other side. And while we're here, let's take the right arm nice and wide, bring it across the body. And then with the other hand, you're just bringing the arm in towards your body. Release that foot. Hmm. Relaxing arm. Move to the other side. Sometimes I like to really stretch the arm back first. So stretching shoulder blades coming in. And then exhale, I'll bring the arm across the body using the other arm. Let's bring the arm closer into the body. Reach that hand and come back to your breath. Okay, shake that out. And we're gonna come now and do our fun balancing um, onto our block. And most of you have done this with me before. So taking a block, coming up onto your block, making sure your heel is on the block, doesn't matter if your toes hang over. I'm just holding this other block for now. And we're just going to swing the leg. So again, keeping the hip in, you might wanna use this block to remind your hip to just stay in, I'll trap the block between my arm. And I'm just going to swing the leg and try to make myself come off balance. So swing it around, all over the place. So yeah, and you know, to make it a little bit more challenging, you can just take your gaze somewhere else. So you can look over one shoulder and still move around. Don't let this hip come out, okay? Really stable in this leg and in this hip. And moving around. <sighs> Lots of work on the standing leg. Look over the other shoulder. 
And take a look up to the sky. Woo! <laughs> Be careful, don't hurt yourself. <sighs> and so in this leg, it's really so tired that your hip oh, has needs a break. Come off your block, shake it out, and we'll come over into the other side. <sighs> So we still have our block in our hand. We're just gonna swing this leg. And so just another thing you could kind of do just to make it fun is see if you can just throw the block and catch it ah, while you're balancing on one leg. So it just brings a little fun into it. So, ah, and it just really throws you off. So. Keep doing that. Two, two, two. Ah, whoa. <laughs> so you can keep playing that for a little while or come down now and just notice how everything feels. So you really feel probably, I do anyway, a lot of strength um, around the hips. Like I really feel like I've used that musculature around my hips and my ankles right into my calves as well. So let's just take a moment, come back to the breath. Probably put a hand onto your heart. You know, the same. Your heart probably racing a little quicker. It's all wonderful. And just slowing everything down. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into that squat again, but we're going to have my legs a little bit wider. And this time we're going to come all the way to the floor. So you can practice your squat first. You can come up on your toes, but you don't have to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up on the floor. Okay. So I'm just going to come up onto my toes, <sighs> hinge at the hips, and then I'm going to come down into the squat. So really pushing my weight back as I come down and not letting my ankles come out to the sides. I'm going to just try to squat and see if I can... And then when you're down, you may just want to take a second here like this and then come all the way down. And what I'll do now is so take this pillow and I'm going to come up on my knees and I'm going to put this pillow between my bum and my calves, okay? My feet now are flat down. And like I said, this is not going to be available to everybody. Don't worry. Um, so my feet are pretty flat. Everybody's ankle mobility is different. I'm going to put this here. I don't want to roll my ankles again. They're just flat um, on the ground. <laughs> Equal, not rolling out. And then I'm going to bring my bum down onto the pillow. And that is it. Um, so stretching the front of the feet again. And just coming to your breath. And of course, you can do anything here you want. You can do some back rolls or probably we'll do a little side stretch. So I'm going to bring my left hand down onto the towards the floor, bring my right hand up towards the sky, and just going to come over and lean over to the side. So what I'm not doing, however, is I'm not bringing the whole, all my weight onto one foot. I'm just leaning here and it stretches from the ribs bottom of the ribs and top of the hip, okay? Come down and come over to the other side, reach. Take a breath. And exhale down. Now what we'll do is we're gonna keep the pillow there, but now we're gonna come up onto our toes. So the toes, you can bring the feet together if you want or just wherever it's comfortable. Again, we don't want the ankles coming out or the heels to be coming out towards the sides. Really finding um, equal balance here. You want the, the feet to be, and you may want to look back too, to just be sure. So heels pointing up towards the sky and putting the pillow there and then now coming back. So you're really stretching the toes here. So you can even kind of um, separate the toes a little bit here 
and come and sit back here. And since we're here, it's always a good chance, opportunity to do something else while we're here. So let's just do some shoulder rolls while we're here. And again, this may not be comfortable for everybody. So just take a break, do some shoulder rolls. I'm gonna bring the shoulders up. So I'm really thinking about the blades coming up, the shoulder blades coming up, shoulder blades squeezing together and coming down the back. So again, up, squeeze and down the back. Up, squeeze and down the back. And let's go the other way. So squeeze the shoulders are down, blades are down, flat on your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, move the shoulder blades up and around together, up and around. And one more time, blades together, move the blades up and around. Ah. Okay, so releasing your pillow, putting your pillow now in front of you. And we are going to come up into like a little squat here onto our toes, like so. Okay, again, the tendency is to roll out onto the ankles. You want the metatarsals, the padding underneath the big toes, really pushing down through there, okay? And what we're gonna do with the pillow in front, this might be enough for you, just practicing up here, because yeah, um, if you haven't done a lot of footwork and stuff before, this could be quite challenging, and I get that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring the knees down towards the pillow and see if we can come back up. So down. Even just doing two of these is like, oh, down and up. Down. So you're just bringing the um, knees down onto the pillow and then oh, rising up. And honestly, I think I can only do one more here down and up, oh, down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm on my hands and knees and I'm gonna just hit the top of my toes on the mat, not top of my feet. Oh. And why not just do a little stretch here since we're here and reach, I'm gonna tuck my toes again here and reach back, reach my body back, reach my hands forward. So not in a child's pose here. We're just really stretching the arms forward and pushing our bum back. Take a breath. And exhale, come up. Okay. what <laughs> okay let's come on to our bottoms so let's sit maybe on this pillow that you already had and if you can you can stretch your legs out in front of you if not you can have them legs bent our knees bent sorry and uh yeah just taking a breath And by all means, sit on a chair too for this part because we're just going to wiggle the toes. So like we did when we were standing, I want you to take your big toes towards your face and your other toes out the other way. So you're just moving your toes, your four toes and your big toe in opposite directions. And maybe just see if you can move the little toes without moving any other toes. And just wiggle, wiggle your toes. Crunch your toes up and spread them wide. Crunch your toes up, squeeze and wide. Spread the toes, squeeze, and wide again. Now this time, whether you are sitting on a chair or on the floor, um, you can bend both knees, just get comfortable basically. And I'm just gonna rest. So I have my legs like I was gonna cross my legs, but one of the legs are kind of outstretching over the other one. 
Um, you could be anywhere. You could be here like this. You just want your heel on the floor. Um, and so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to move. Uh, you can begin by just moving the ankle around in circles. One way and then the other way. And now what you're going to do is your toes are flexed up towards the ceiling. And you're going to pretend you have a real like a ski boot, you know, the ski boots come up to here, down those ski boots, and your, your foot's pretty trapped in it. But you're going, it's got that feeling, but you're going to move the ankle side to side. So it's like you're moving your foot from side to side in a big ski boot. And you're going to notice maybe that if you bring your fingers to uh, your shin here, you may even notice this muscle running down. Um, moving a little side to side. That's kind of what we're going for here. Whew. For anybody watching this, it's like, oh, you know, but for people doing it, you can really feel that we're doing a lot of work here. Oh. So try not to have the toes move okay so try not to be like moving from the top of the foot you're just really kind of moving from the ankle but this feeling like you ha don't have a lot of movement available but you're just moving in that little side to side okay whoa you can give that a little shake and we'll go to the, actually, while we're here, let's do this. Don't go to the other side. We're gonna take our fingers now and in between our toes, okay? So I'm gonna to try to get right down to like the bottom of my fingers around my knuckles and put them each between the toes. And this may or may not be available to you. Try your best. You can always just stick the top parts of your fingers in between your toes. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna squeeze my toes around my fingers or around my hand. So I'm just going to squeeze. So it's not, I'm not squeezing my hand, I'm just squeezing my toes. Squeeze and let go a few times. This is really great. You can get those toe spacers that are really, really um, good as well. Especially if anybody is wearing really tight shoes all the time or heels or anything like that. This is great. And okay, we'll move to the other side. So again, I'm just like, I'm coming into a cross leg position, but the other leg is gonna come just kind of over the knee here and just get comfortable really. That's the main thing, don't be uncomfortable here. <clears throat> so, um, here we go. Oh, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to move the toes, move the ankle around a couple of times in both directions. And then I'm going to just take my finger just below my knee. There's like a little bump there below my knee. And then to the left of that, you'll notice like this muscle that runs down your calf and a bone there. And we're going to Again, like your foot is in a ski boot and really moving the foot side to side and you will not see even this muscle moving side to side. And moving really, really slow. And already this is hard. It's <laughs> starting to get sore and tired. <laughs> I'm going to take a little break, take a breath, make sure I'm not clenching anywhere. I want my, the rest of my body in ease. I don't want to clench and make energy go somewhere or telling my body when you're doing something and you just clench everywhere else. You're just giving your body that you're putting your body in that fight or flight kind of response and your body thinks, you know, that, oh, it needs to protect itself or so let everything just release every other bit of tension in your body release. And all the energy going to this movement, okay? And you'll probably even notice it might get a little harder or once you do that, or you'll feel like you just have more energy going to that place. Okay. 
Oh, and oh, not release that, but we're going to go into uh, bringing our fingers between our toes. So if you need to sit on a chair or anything like that, this is getting too uncomfortable. Go ahead and fitting all my fingers in. I have quite big spaces between my toes. Uh, my toes are not really squished together. So this is a little easier for me probably. Not sure. So once I have all my fingers in my toes, I'm just going to let my hand pretty much relax. I'm going to squeeze my wrist. I'm just going to squeeze my toes around my fingers and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you can release and squeeze. Squeeze and release. do anything with your other arm if you want to oh that little stretch while you're doing this to the side <laughs> and really so this is a really great thing to do anytime I highly recommend um, doing this with your feet and then release so time to come down onto our backs Get your pillow ready for underneath your head or your blanket. And scoot down onto our backs. So bring, come down onto the elbows, onto the backs of the arms, finding that nice, comfortable position for you. So feeling the shoulder blades flat on the ground, feeling your back of your ribs on the ground, a little arch in your lower back. My knees are bent. My arms are just going to reach out to the sides and take a relax here. I'm just going to windshield wiper my legs from side to side, so both go, coming in the same direction. It's nice sometimes if your legs don't come down to the floor to have something like a block there so that you can come down and you can even rest on one side for a breath. And come up, come down to the other side. And now we're down on one side, I'm gonna lift the right leg. So I'm down onto the left side, I'm lifting my top leg and bringing it over. So we're just getting one leg to dra drag the other leg. And we're really starting to slow down now and getting ready for Shavasana. So this is anything that you find would be really soothing for you right now. I'm just moving from side to side. And come up, we can come into this figure four, just like we did earlier, standing up. I'm gonna flex my leg up towards the ceiling, do another couple ankle rolls here. Bend at the knee, internal, external rotation. And when it's externally, leg is externally rotated, drop the foot onto the ankle. Remember that you don't want the back to flatten when you do that, so move the bottom leg out if that happens. And you can start to move the leg in towards you or off the floor and bring the knee towards your chest, but only as far as you can do that without the back flattening. So as soon as the back flattens, that's your boundary, that's your place to stop. And some people like to roll over a little bit to the right or to the left, sorry, you got, if you've got your right foot on the top. And some people like to bring that foot way down to the floor. My back doesn't feel like that, but that's an option for you. Come back up. Bring the knee in perhaps a little more towards your chest, only if it feels good and your back is not flattening. And again, you can move a little side to sides here if that feels good. And come down, release that foot. Ah, come back to your breath. Raise the other leg, internal, external rotation. And the hip here. 
And then when you have your leg externally rotated, drop the ankle down into the shin. Push that knee away from you. This might be just enough for you right here. Taking a breath. And if you want, you can raise that leg or walk or just come up on the toe or you can even just walk that foot in towards you a little bit. Bunch of options. You can roll over to the right side this time. Some people like to make a block here and perhaps come all the way over and rest their foot on the block. That's one option. Or a little wiggle side to side is nice too. And release. Okay, any last little movement you want, you can do that. Otherwise, get all settled in for your Shavasana. Ah, so as you're here, I don't know, I just want to like squeeze my toes and wiggle my toes. And yeah, we did a lot of work around the ankles and with the feet and in the hips. So just bring your attention to those areas and just notice how those areas feel for you today. Bring some gratitude to those parts of your body. especially our glorious feet that we often don't pay very much attention to, but um, are very important, obviously, <laughs> for the rest of our bodies. Hmm. Now see if you can relax and let your body just completely let go. Relax face, relax belly, relax in the shoulders, behind the neck, in the jaw, space between the teeth. Relax the space between your eyebrows, your forehead, and even the top of your head or your scalp. Just feel like a release all around your face, your temples, into your jawbone, into your jawline, down the front of your throat, in the back of your neck. Muscles going the back of the neck and down and into the shoulders. Arms heavy. Letting your whole back body release into the floor. And it's okay if your mind is busy. Just noticing that. It's okay. And tell those thoughts you can come back later. You can come back in five minutes. And let's first remind our body how it feels to relax. And not to go into a sleep, but to be awake and relax. Your head is heavy. Your shoulders. Your arms, the back body, the belly. Feeling your hips and your pelvis release. And feel the heaviness of your pelvis relaxing into the floor. And moving down the strong legs into your ankles. Giving some appreciation to your feet and your ankles and your toes. And just staying here in the quiet.
appreciate you all coming today.